interesting statement I, that our pitchers, you know, comboed up and did a great job today. When you go into Sunday and kind of the situation we're in with with a little bit of our experience and depth and things like that with the injuries, you know, we, we were hoping to get at least four out of Cody. We got six. And his fifth and sixth might have been his better innings, but pitch count was getting up. Um, we needed nine outs. We knew what we had left in the bullpen. So gave it up to Ledbetter, gave us a couple innings, and uh, obviously we finished it up. It wasn't super pretty game by any means. You know, after four, we had a 5 nothing lead, but really should have scored some more runs there. Uh, I was a little that, – that was probably the only disappointing – part of the day for me personally, but really proud of the team. First weekend out, really cold temperatures, showed up every day and played well. Um, played really good defense again today and really all weekend. I mean, I think we made one error, I think, and that was in the ninth inning yesterday. Uh, didn't hurt us, but uh, just, a, just a great weekend for us. I was going to ask you if you've seen a longer home run than Jared Wagner today, but or Wagner, but uh, Matt Goodhart tweeted during the game that he had him by one foot. Uh, what what do you think of that that home run? The only difference, Matt's disappeared on the building, so it's probably a pretty good guesstimation there. I don't know by that technology. Uh, I did. I stopped watching it once I knew it went out of the park. I, I knew that he crushed it, but yeah, it was hit a long way. That's for sure, and he. Uh, he got jammed his previous at bat on a fastball. And I think that he kind of guessed right on that one, got him another one, and he was definitely on time. And then Harold Cole came through with a, a two-run knock in the next inning. How how would you assess his his first weekend starting three games for you? I thought he played really well. You know, he got a couple big hits for us, played solid defense. Uh, even that play in the, in the ninth, he didn't rush that throw to second. He just tried to get one, kind of gained some ground, made an accurate throw. Um, looked like he's been playing third all his life. It was good to see. You know, we've, we've seen the stuff from Adcock plenty. I know you felt like he could be a starter for you guys. I was just wondering if you saw anything different from him, like maybe a mental switch that he flipped or in this game where he seemed to really find a groove there. Yeah, I felt like that, you know, he didn't have any have nearly as many bad misses. You know, he had a lot of close pitches. And, uh, you know, maybe in the first inning or second inning, he, met, he, he hung a pitch when he was heading the count. Uh, but other than that, I mean, he got it together and he, he pitched like he was in command and, you know, they got a good hitters, you know, they're going to hit, they're going to square up some balls, but uh, I liked his confidence out there and just the way he just kept attacking the zone. So he just good job. And just overall with your pitching staff, obviously the move with Hagen worked pretty well this weekend. Just how much better do you feel about the group overall compared to maybe two, three weeks ago when there were the guys going down with injuries and stuff like that? Well, after, after, you know, the mid week and we threw some younger guys out there and some different people uh and then and then you, this weekend as well you know there's a lot of veterans going at it this weekend for us but we feel like we're 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 getting a little stronger we're getting a little deeper and obviously the experience these guys are gaining is going to help us down the down the road with Ledbetter specifically uh do, do you feel confident with the way he's pitched um you know as the homestand wraps up yeah, I mean, I I feel like he made a big jump. I mean, last week he midweek game he threw the ball as good as he's thrown it this year, and he threw it pretty good today. But he threw really good midweek, and uh, I feel like that it, uh, it starts to warm up a little bit. Confidence gets a little better. You know, he has a chance to be right in the middle of it for us. Obviously, anytime you can win a series and is good, and anytime you can sweep one is good. But just when you look at the rest of the conference and how tough this schedule is going to be, how important is it to get that third win this weekend when you can take care of business at home well it's you know like we told the guys today the sweeps are, are yesterday and then again today a couple of things it's just if you win the first couple of games you got a chance to sweep and mentally you got to flip it to hey this is one game series we need to win this game whatever that, that's how important the games are and you got to get them all you can because you know this league's tough and you can run into somebody that's hot or you're not playing good or Whatever the case may be, it's just kind of the way the game works. It's a long season, and uh, we're excited about getting off to a good start, but we know we've, we've got a lot of work ahead of us. Auburn's coach had several discussions with umpires, it seemed like, during the game. What was any of that about? Did they mind the bat flip? Or when they came to you, what was that discussion? I don't know. Just frustrated about 
strike zone on one call and, you know, the bat flip, their catcher's the one who seemed to be upset about the bat flip. And, you know, their first baseman seemed like he was irritated about something, but I, I don't really know. What do you know about uh, SEMO? I saw we were doing some research. I saw that Trevor Ezell has been promoted to associate head coach there. Don't know a whole lot about him. Be working on that tonight and tomorrow. And uh, Andy Sawyer, former catcher of mine, and Trevor Ezell, former infielder. It's a good combination. They're, they, they got off to a really good start. I know they've been up and down a little bit. I know this weekend they're doing well, but uh, I don't know. We just uh, – we got to look at this weather forecast too. We got a lot of rain coming in, so we got to figure out that. So we'll look at that tomorrow. You have an idea of who you're going to start on the mound? Yeah, I have an idea, but don't want to announce it yet. Anything else? All right, guys. Okay. Good. Thank Good. you.